thought he played well. He, uh, again, six assists, zero turnovers, knocked down a couple threes, nice drive. And um, he, he was very um, efficient and effective uh, today in, in the, or tonight in the game. So that, that really helps. Anytime we can get that, um, you know, Braxton hit a couple threes or some other guys step into the plate and, um, and scoring and impacting the game that way, it was good. And I thought he guarded, uh, as usual, was uh, active on the ball. Four of your starters were listed as were introduced as guards. Uh, what do you think about the rebounding forty one twenty one? Um, yeah, well, you know they um, against the zone. There's going to be some offensive rebounding opportunities, and I thought I think we missed a block out to start the game, but after that we did a pretty good job. Uh, look at the numbers. Um, you know, Mamadi Mamadi was was active. I'm glad to see he had eight, and then everybody kind of chipped in. Um, as far as that goes, Braxton's always going to the glass. So that's, that's such a key, the ability to block out and rebound and um, to keep them off. So again, we, we talk a lot about trying to control turnovers and second chance points. Those are keys for us to be successful. Tony, third different game with a somewhat of a tweak starting lineup. Um, is that to get ready for the postseason or is that based on who you're playing today? Yeah, I thought that group finished the game really well. Um, at Louisville, and I just liked it. I thought Kihei was a good matchup um, for Alvarado. He's real quick um, and, and is good. Uh, um, he's kind of a key for them. So it, Hank, it's a little more matchup oriented. And as I've said before, um, you know, there's seven guys, eight you could consider, or we're playing an eight-man rotation that could be considered starters at different times. But it's uh, a little more matchup oriented, and maybe just how practice has gone or or the game. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, we 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 played solid tonight and did what we had to do. Um, and I thought the group at the end did a nice job. I was glad to get Cody in there with um, you know five and a half, and it's nice to see Marco get a nice dunk and Frankie. So I think those guys, uh, it was good. And again, to have the game in a spot where you know you could balance the minutes and get different looks at guys um, and lower that minute count, that's always a positive. So. Um, sometimes in this league, you don't have that opportunity, but we played well enough to, to be able to um, give everybody an opportunity, which, which I think is important. Tony, Tony um, locking up a double buy in the ACC tournament, how much satisfaction is there in that now as you, oh, turn, the calendar to, as you so, turn the calendar to March? So that's official? No, that's great. Um, you know, we've been fortunate to be in that spot the last few years, and um, so, no, that's, that is good. So that means you're one of the Top four, right? For sure. Um, I, I wasn't aware of that, but yeah, you, you don't want to, um, if at all possible, be in that game. But uh, it's good at this stage. Chris, Co coach, you're seeing more zone lately. Georgia Tech zone's a little bit different, obviously. How do you feel like that part of the offense is progressing against zone? Yeah, um, Louisville did Notre Dame. Um, now Tech, I guess those are the three. I don't know if anybody else did. You just have to, you know, the high post is such a crucial area against good zones. The ball has to move. There has to be a balance between aggressiveness with the dribble and getting into gaps and making the right plays. And then, you know, movement, high post, um, getting underneath the zone in the corners. And it always helps when you stick a few threes and you got a guy like DeAndre who is efficient and is, is really uh, dangerous in the high post. And we were moving different guys in and out. So, um, it was, um, you know, I, I thought we were efficient and effective with the right kind of things. And I, we have a couple different um, alignments we do against the zone. This one's a little different than other ones, um, but I thought we were effective against it. You talked Monday a little bit about their defense and the 17 assists for you. Um, what did you think of the, the ball movement yep. against what they're doing? No, it was good. Some of that was in the man to man. They went some man, and we got some of our assists. But I, we were we had good ball security. We had a couple of good days of practice. Um, again, the way they the guys shared the ball um, and attacked, and uh, yeah, it was just it was balanced. I mean, you, 17 threes. That's was a fair. Some games you have to shoot a little more, but um, I, I liked I liked the balance and the points in the paint. You know, that's two games in a row where we've been. 
uh, at a high number in the points in the paint, so that's good. Jeff, no. Three blocks for Mahomedy. Yeah, he's been doing that. he has been. I believe the eight rebounds are a career high. Is that a part really? of the game where huh. you thought he could be doing more than He's, he's so quick off the floor. You can see that he has got a gift to, you know, first bounce, second bounce. And uh, it seems like his timing is improving as the year is going on. It really does. And um, he's, uh, I liked how he slid a couple times guarding a more of a perimeter four or guard type. And um, that's, you know, with his length and, and his bounce, that, that really helps us. So he's really, um, really got a special ability there. And it seems like it, you know, he's, it's coming into his own with that. Tony, can you describe a little bit just how you were able to get the, the open corner threes? That seemed to be a real big boost for you guys. Yeah, um, again, just trying to work the high post, slide underneath the zone. Um, it's, you know, they're pretty heavy matchup out top, and there are some areas if you can get the ball there. They make it hard. They, they do a good job. You know, you can see their inconsistency that Josh has with the young guys. Um, they, they did some good stuff, though, but um, they um, it's a little um, – like I said, inconsistent, but they're pretty good with their pressure, so you better have pass fakes. But if you can get guys behind it in the corners and overload it, that's kind of a, a thing. Sometimes you get those rhythm looks, and we had the right guy shooting them. Uh, one more, Ron. Coach, uh, you had a little bit of put Ty Jerome and Emmanuel on the court together. What do you hope he ate learn from Ty and maybe just do his thing again? Yeah, I think, um, you know, London was such a good mentor on the court to Ty. And um, I think Ty, you know, is, is a good mentor and they share minutes and play a lot to Kihei. And, um, you know, you just got to be a sponge. Uh, you know, Ty, Ty understands, has pace, uh, is competitive. And, you know, there's some similarities with he and Kihei. But um, Kihei's smart. He, he picks his brain. And um, I, I think he just, I, hopefully he learns how to, how to be efficient, how to manage the game, how to, um, you know, they're, they have their own games too, as well. But um, but I like the efficiency that I saw tonight, and uh, he's he's very competitive as well. So I think that you know ties being a good mentor and teacher so far.